Hello, Meg Warriors. How is it going? And welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tag. Guys, we're gonna continue today, and I think I wanna go for a spicy mission. I wanna go for something like two and a half to three skull to see if we can actually manage that. But before we do that, obviously, we have to repair our Kentaro and our Wakaroni here. Yeah? These guys got hit hard. And yeah, unlike in my live playthrough, we are actually struggling a little bit with money. Do we have the third mech bay already? We do not. <laughs> and we cannot afford it. <laughs> alrighty then, alrighty. Is there anything in the store that we want to sell? Hold up real quick. I need to get a quick overview of where we were. We got some auto cannons. We got some lasers, grenades, grenade launchers, heavy PPC. That's worth a bit. And the light goose rifle. Quick sell LRM-20. I think I want to use that thing at some point. Uh, we got mortar. We got regular PPCs, rocket packs, rack 5, snub no. Oh, snub is cool. Taser rifle, the zoom, the beacons, uh, sure, sure, sure. There's an engine that we can get rid of. I really want to get the third mech bay going and I want to do it right now. Also, gunnery A, that's the thing that we probably want to implement in one of our guys. Lamb, oh, we have so much lamb stuff. This is basically half a lamb that is sitting around waiting for a chassis. Holy crap. Uh, basic sensors for the win. Let's go and get the value. We got spore liner. Uh, all right, turret mount is pretty good. UAV compartment. You guys said that I could drop a UAV, like, one UAV every time, and that I have to get a special UAV to drop the special one. Should I just try it out? Deploys a basic UAV by default. Oh, that, that, that's what it says, so I should probably try that, right? Um, sure, why not? Okay, so other than that, we got some ammo left. Yeah, man, we, we need money. We need money uh, a lot. So here we go, waiting for our people to come back online. Um... Tank girl to the telescopic camera. Could be really bad, could be really good. She could get spacer. Let's go. Uh, she's got the injury. Okay, fine. I mean, tank girl is currently not one of our um, main pilots, so she's fine. She can just recover, play some video games, you know, the drill. So yeah, I think we have to actually wait until we get into... Oh god, until we get everybody repaired. That's taking a substantial amount of money away. So the question is, do we have a duel or something that we can play before the next month hits? There's nothing here. Alright, so we gotta wait. We gotta wait, I want everybody, guys. 600,000! Oh, oh that's, that's not good. It's not good enough. <laughs> Not good enough for the third mech bay, which also will decrease our money investment because um, our repair time investment is gonna be significantly less because of that. Yo, you lost some SRMs. Oh, that's a problem. That's a huge problem, actually. Cannot let you get a go out there without those SRMs. Difficult. Now, maybe we are not using that Kentaro for a while? Because that thing is heavily undergunned. We got the double Waka situation. That's pretty good. The Clint is coming to life, but it's kind of empty right now. Man, what we need is vehicles. We need vehicles so bad. Okay, quick check on the Waka number one. Waka number one is running the medium laser jump jet situation. And you know what? Hmm, we got some stuff here. We even got an exchanger. That's pretty good. Um, but yeah. I think I'm gonna give it the UAV compartment. I want to see what we can do with that. The advanced zoom, I don't think it's good. It's not good on you, at the very least. Yeah, I want it somewhere, but not, not here. Okay. Uh, Waka number two is the ballistic Waka. It has some rockets, currently. Huh. You could definitely benefit from the zoom. Perfect. And I'm also gonna give you the gunnery, because jam uh, or unjam will be determined by your gunnery skills. So the better it is, the quicker you unjam, or the higher chance you have to unjam. These guys are so all over the place. Man, what are we doing with <laughs> with this playthrough? Oh god. Oh god. So, Firestarter, do you need the thermal exchanger, or do you already have something like that? Huh. That is interesting. I wanted to try the dual machine guns. Do I stand by that? We could drop Pharaoh, give it an XL engine upgrade if we have something like that. Hold up. We only got the lamb engine. Okay, so no, never mind. Yeah, is there anything that we want on you? Probably not. You know, I think we're fine. I think we're good. However, we don't really have the bestest mechs in the universe here. So I don't know if we should actually go for the spicy one or if we just fix our, our holes that we got right now. So 
Let me think. We want to play for Marek. That's right. Um, two and a half? Blackout could be really good, actually. Target acquisition. Oh. Ah. I'm gonna say no to it. No, thank you. No, thank you. Let's go for the blackout. We're gonna play against the pirates. And we're gonna bring in the good old... Yeah, the good old alpha squad. But you're gonna take the whacker for, for a spin here. This guy comes with Angel ECM, which is really, really nice. Also... Yeah, you know what? We're gonna swap you out. Because we need the focus fire ability to not have so much recoil here. Because of the autocannon situation and everything. Yep, absolutely. Are you also military, ex-military? Perfect. So we get negative two recoil, which is what we need for those ultra fives, if I remember correctly. Exactly. Uh, and then you can use your like lucky trade on the missiles and the energy weapons. Firestarter is here. We got the Hermes, which I am not really happy about. Chronic Toast, what's your skill? It's nine. I don't think it's worth pushing anymore. I think we should probably bring the Clint up and running. Yeah, we're fine. We're gonna be fine. Let's go. Alrighty then. Let's do it. We got some friends with us. That's what I was kind of hoping for. Nice. Uh, at the same time, it could drag the game a little bit. But hey, let's see. We got a Panzerhaubitz 2000. <laughs> Alright. A Prowler MTV with medium pulse and LRM10 and an SRM2. Same thing here. And there is one more guy, which is a Plainsman with an LRM15 and an SRM2. Okay. All right, then. Let's go ahead and jump, jump, jump around. I think... I think we're just gonna push that. I can launch that UAV. That's really cool. So, um, yep, sprint here. Um, you, my friend, the Hermes. You are really fast. The Firestarter as well. I think these are gonna be our scouts that want to get into the target zone. Let's see what's coming. Yeah, the fact that we have some friends is, again, good and bad. Good and the fact that we have extra meat shields around us and a bit more firepower. Bad in form of, like, them taking a lot of time to actually move around. So, Hermes, I'd say we move and brace. And then we're gonna bring Lefay in with the fire starter with a jump. And uh, that should settle us. Here we go. Oh, we got drop pods coming down. And, oh my god. How many are they? It's four of them, right? Yeah, but they dropped behind us. Ugh, that's not good. Let me see what we got. A ven Venator? Venator? Uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Shepard Rustler? Another? Oh, it's a black jacket. It's a black jacket. That's nasty. And then we got a light MML carrier. Oh, boy. Spicy. Spicy, spicy. Um, Angel ECM is currently active. That means we're gonna move somewhere where we can scramble as many... Of these sensors as possible. Let's go here. Oh, okay. Uh, and then we got the other wacker, which is running chameleon. You can just go over here. All right. The fight is on. Here we go. Let me see what we can do. Oh my god, not a lot actually. The rockets might be able to bust the carrier though. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, the hit chance is not bad, but it's also not exciting. 24. I am a bit afraid of this carrier, but I'm more afraid of the of the yellow jacket, to be honest. When do we drop the rockets? That's the question here. I think I'm gonna hold it for a second, let him do a thing, and then we're gonna counter attack. It's usually the best way to do it. This guy only has one missile hardpoint and then another missile thing. Uh oh. That's a weapon bay. That is a weapon bay, and we got hit by an AGM or something, plus some MRMs also. But at the very least, he didn't move. Oh my god. Um, sure. We'll take him out of the sky then. Put the MRM to the front, because acid grinds through armor really, really well. And then we're gonna follow up with the lasers to the structure. That's not a kill. Oh, so much for our power level here. All right. Howitzer artillery. Okay, so you're dropping some templates around. Yellow jacket missed. The gauss at the very least. These missiles are shredding. Yeah, you, you should take more stuff to the battlefield is what Darius says. Yes, I know. <laughs> All right, these turrets are on our side though. That's good. What are you? Streak SRM6 Pirate and Heavy Vehicle Flamer. Alrighty then. 
All right, the Hermes needs to go somewhere else. Hmm. I like this spot. It's not a bad chance, it's 35, but again, we need to get that fly out because, oh, those were rockets. Yeah, <laughs> this thing is still very dangerous. All right, we hit the rotor, it seems. Actually, no, we hit the side and the rotor, both of it. Why are they not moving, though? It's kind of awkward. Hmm. Part of me really wants to get the MML carrier down now. These are MML3s, right? Not re really dangerous, are they? I don't know. I just don't know. So we go and attack the chopper. Let's go. Ba blam, ba blam, ba blam. Uh, there's a UAV being launched. Okay. It is a light MML carrier. Wait, SMML? That means streak MML? Right? Quite dangerous, actually. Because of the evasion ignore and everything. On the waka. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It hits. And it hits the left side, which is already kind of crushed. Oh man. The repair time. It's gonna be massive. But anyways, we still have one activation in form of a fire starter. They're getting out of the template with the shepherd. Mm, it's getting critical. Thank you. That is helpful. So, yes, we will attack with a kick. Only have a 50% chance to hit this guy, actually. So what if we go for this kick? That's better. Mm, I mean, usually it is better to bring down the machine guns to the bottom. I should do that in the mech lab. So I have a, a standard attack pattern. And I think I'm gonna shoot all the times here. Let's go, 30, no, not 36, 63% to hit. We gotta do it. This guy has a quite good chunk of armor. 35 damage. Love to see it. Hmm, he's not quite there. Okay, bit of follow-up. Calliope is not doing a lot. Yeah, we have a lot of damage on these guys. Now it comes down to who wins the initiative, who's gonna act first, and who's gonna take the kills. UAV. Yeah, whatever. Wait. You got an SRM or something? Or a rocket launcher? Hold up. It's a rocket 5. <laughs> cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um... Man, as much as I want to get the, the, the black jacket down... We have a kick. That kick is good. Because we can bring it to the back of the Shepard. On top of our laser beams. Yeah, nice. So he's down. Somebody else is hopefully able to get the jacket out of the way. Kablam. Oh, that was the howitzer now being shot. Good. The Panzerhaubitze. Ow. Nasty. Very nasty. Um, sure. Let's move around. Huh. The MMLs are gonna get us. I can feel it. Let me try to disable the guy before it can shoot. It's his action right now. I mean, we got a bit of chaff on him. That's good. Is it gonna be enough, though? Man, I feel undergunned. This is... There's a scary mission here. They're all going for the Wacker. Finally. It's fantastic. I wish the Thumper would attack the, the helicopter again. He had some kind of flag mode. Alright. Component explosion. Component explosion. So it was not the Gauss rifle or silver bullet Gauss rifle, whatever that was. Uh-huh. Another injury. Oh my god, can we get another, like, injury on this guy and go home with a yellow jacket? Black jacket? The Jack Black? Probably not. No. ECM pirate crit. Oh, it was a pirate gauss of some sort. All right. 
Here we go. Let's get the fire starter in there and just shred the MML carrier. It's not quite done yet, but we have more follow up. Kill stealer. <laughs> All right. So now the movement part begins. We're just going to sprint in and see what we can do. Where's the... Wait. Hold up. Where's the second base? There's the second base. Was I moving in the wrong direction? Possibly. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Get out of active combat and again, now the, now the running begins. The good news is we still are in the early game and we have quite mobile guys here. But what our lands really need, I'm, I'm reiterating here guys, it is a vehicle. A vehicle or two so that we have extra firepower that we can just bring. We have two open slots which we are currently not using, but they can only be used with either battle armor or um, vehicles. So any tank, any support tank would be fantastic. Something with an LRM or I don't know, maybe a lighting with some medium pulse lasers which can just move around freely and do whatever it wants. Oh, I would love that. Also having another pilot on the battlefield, you know, another another guy that we can train that might get the sensor lock ability at some point, which is a very helpful asset. I need that. And I know that I could buy things on the market. But should I? It feels bad. I'm the loot goblin. Okay, here we go. Sprint in there, buddies. On my other playthrough, the, the live playthrough, I have a party truck. This thing is so good. With the disco laser arrays, it makes everything go just boom. Deals so much damage and is uh, very reliable, has a decent amount of armor, a decent speed, and the damage output is just fantastic. And it's also really good against battle armor because um, these disco lasers count as small pulses and they have a bonus to battle armor damage and accuracy. It's just nuts. That thing is so, so versatile. I love it. Okay, should we get the high ground? Uh, let's go over here. Stay in the forest. So I think one more round and then we will actually get into the fight. Part of me wants to drop the UAV already. Does that end the turn? So can I either drop a UAV or shoot or can I do both? Might want to check that out. We still have the rockets, that's the good news. Hello? We're not there yet? What? Alright, so we gotta go a little bit closer. Good news is our friends are coming with us, so we have that extra armor around us. Enemies just have to take that. Hmm. Let's go. I'm gonna use the fire starter. Whoop. Hello. So, quarantine. Leave area now. All right, so we have the ambush situation. Okay, quick overview. What are we facing here? Large laser, medium laser, double machine gun, Turan. There's a Centurion with rockets, double light machine guns, heavy rifle, and the mining drill. Uh-oh. Oh, you have a lot of armor on that arm. Uh, interesting. A fire truck with heavy flamers, machine guns, and an SRM-2. And another guy, which I don't see right now, correct? One, two, three. Where's the fourth? The fourth is not with us. All right. Mm, you want to be somewhat on the front line. Uh, so I better put you there. Make a right side twist. Your left side is kind of garbage right now. And you probably want to go to the high ground. So let's go there. Hermes. Yeah. Okay. So the fight is on once more. UAV. Okay. These guys have spawn protection with 12 evasion. That's the problem. We gotta give him an opening. Uh oh. Firestarter is not in a good spot with all the melee stuff happening here. I do believe that this Centurion actually has some punch with the mining drill. They just hate my wackas, huh? <laughs> Alright, fair enough. But that was the fire truck, which didn't really do a lot. Um, yeah, I'm gonna wait. Ascent is the biggest target right now. Give it a turn, and then we go all in. Here it comes. 
Oh, uh, crap. Oh, crap. We got a crit on the laser. We got a headshot. <laughs> this is not good, man. And we are all we are also about to drop. Okay, howitzer is fantastic here. Got a twist better. Okay, let's go here. So we cannot drop the UAV now. So that's the thing you gotta do when stable, huh? Fine. Fair enough. Why is my hit chance so bad? Weapon accuracy minus three? That can't be real. Minus three? Oh, because of acid, yes. Okay, and MRM has a negative one. And then acid ammo also probably adds to that. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Anyways. Get wrecked. Okay. I'm gonna go for the kick here. Maybe we can destabilize the guy. And yes, I will attack him from behind. See what we can do here. Mm, it probably takes a while until we grind through that back armor. Yeah, we need a better can opener to follow up with the machine gun. Anyways, here's damage. Nice. You can now also go in his back. Perfect. Through the back of our fire starter. Unless I do this, which is not good. It's really good for the rockets, but bad for the autocannon. This is the spot. B, may our accuracy be with us here. So, fire starter, duck! I just realized something. This is a primitive mech. Oh. Okay, he didn't explode in a fiery ball of death. That's good. Uh huh? I think we actually got it. Yeah, it's a 33%. Of the enemies down, which means that it's just a fire truck and the Turan, which doesn't have a lot of damage. So I think we should be safe. Yeah, look at that. Cool. We still have Hermes. We still have the other Wacker. Right? No? No, just the Hermes. Okay. Um, yeah, give it a turn. Hopefully he wasted. Wastes is. Is there a bug currently? I wanted to say where the vehicles don't move, but yeah, he did move. Okay. Because the the flying units earlier, they just were stationary for I don't know what reason. Uh, yeah, speaking of moving... Oh, another thumper. Nice. <laughs> what? What did we just hit? Watch out, Commander! Base defense is coming online! Oh, this is not over. Oh, no. This is not over. Okay, then. What do we have? LRM5, LBX, laser, quick cell. Light autocannon turret with an ultra 2. Uh, what else? Where else? Calliope? No. S. Oh, streak MRM10. That thing needs to go quickly. Absolutely. Wait. The thumper is dropping the... Wow. Amazing. Thank you, my friend. This is really good. So yeah, we want to... Definitely, oh god, um, definitely go for you, my friend. I know I'm overheating, I'm taking it anyways. Feels like we have no damage on the Waka. Nothing. <laughs> At all. <laughs> oh my god. This guy needs to go, and quickly. So thanks for the help here, but we need it somewhere else. We need it right here, right now. Is that a smash attack? It is, against the turret. <laughs> Ram it! Here comes the artillery. We have to. It will shred our waka if we don't do it. All right. The fire starter might be able to get it done. And yes, we are faster than the, the turret. Oh, this is helpful. Yes. Okay, good. It's exactly what we needed. Um, I believe the Turan might get downed by the artillery, actually. So what we do now is... 
Um, this. We're gonna kick the turret. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do it! Nice. Got some damage in. And that should settle it. Down they go. Perfect. Is this the Adi? No, just an LRM barrage. Okie dokie. So, I'm gonna present a target in form of a Hermes to the light ultra autocannon turret. Hopefully he's taking it over our um, ballistic... No, the, the energy whacker. Stay there, it's a good spot. No, no, you don't need to move. Aww. <laughs> Plainsman's still alive. Now... The turret was attacking the Prowler, the artillery coming down, doing nothing. Okay. So, guys. Last thing to do here. Take down the little guy, and then the turret, or vice versa. Pretty good. Ideally, we want to take the last hits for extra experience, by the way. We want to get the kill shots. So, in we go. Mm, let's get the turret, because it's a safe bet. Do like the machine guns here. The high crit potential is just really good. All right, and then we're gonna go and uh, twist to. Oh, come on, twist to the other side, just like that. Your accuracy is so bad. I mean, we're firing at max range, yes, <laughs> but still. Okie dokie. Ultra auto cannon fire coming in as well. Let's see. Nice. Terra Bird got it. Beautiful. Whew. That was a tough fight. I mean, I was calling it. I was going a little bit out of my leagues here, but we might even find something interesting in yeah, in the form of maybe a vehicle or two. I wouldn't mind the black jacket. Would be a great thing to have. Mm, let's see. Let's see. Other than that, um, Centurion would be fine to get. It's a 50-tonner. It's nothing wrong with it. Uh, maybe it had some interesting equipment there. We'll check it out. So... Oh, hello. Uh, hello. Stop it here. We don't have any yellow jacket parts yet. And it's, it's four picks that we have here. We needed five to build the thing. Shepard... Heavy vehicle flamer, two medium laser, two streaks. I don't know. I'm not excited about this thing. What were you running? An LRM-20 and a guided bomb. Two guided bombs. It's not bad. Not bad, but also not exciting. So, we look at the mining drill. What does that thing give us? Two and a half ton melee carried item, negative one accuracy, deals 50 damage. Sure. It fires during a punch or physical attack. So yeah, it's an extra little damage when we go melee. There's nothing wrong with it. We got wing-mounted rockets. Streak MML5. They need clan streak ammo to use. Quite heavy. Two accuracy and evasion ignores fantastic though. Okay, we have a Streak MRM-10 as well. Two Evasion Ignore, one Accuracy. Needs Streak MRM ammo. Ultra 2, Beagle Probe. Uh, more IC engines. We got Missile Hit Point Modifier. Primitive Fire Control Systems. Bit of Ferro. Spore Liner. I think we have that, but we are not currently using it. It's a bit of damage reduction and uh, through armor... Uh, and crit modifier, so we are a bit safer using this thing. Flamer ammo, Gauss ammo. Where's the Gauss? Inferno SRM. Okay. We have the Streak LRM clan as one bin, so I could take some MMLs. Three of them, I guess. And fuel it with a single Streak LRM clan bin. There's also the Streak MRM. Which is probably better. There's the Centurion, there's a Tracker Sensor. It's a, it's a thing that we could use. There's an LRM-20 as well. 
See, I'm looking for something to slap on the Wacker with the uh, Ultra Auto Cannons. I, I'm not really happy about the Rockets. They are situationally good, but they are one-shot weapons, so I'm not really excited about them. I, 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 it's hard to tell. How much is the Streak MRM in terms of weight? Four tons. It would be the more reasonable upgrade compared to the Rockets. So yeah, I think I'll take it, question mark. At the same time, I could take these. But no, it's too much of an investment. This is more like an all-round good thing. All right. Um, it's a 10 rated weapon, so let's see how much we get here in terms of ammunition. 240 missiles, that's 24 alpha strikes. I think I'm over, over equipping a little bit, but hey, it's fine. That's a great upgrade for the Waka. I like it. Now, I could... I could take these Inferno SRMs and use my... my... Kinta Kintaro? I think it's a Kintaro, right, that we have? Um, as a, like, overheater. We have a bin already, and I don't think I need more than one ever. So we are not taking it. Gauss ammo is pretty good for the late game, but we need a Gauss to run it, you know. Wasn't there an SRM? Use a streak SRM ammo. What are you? Follow the leader missiles. Okay, so they are not as good as streaks, but almost. They fire nine missiles. No, six missiles with nine damage each. Also generate a heat per missile. <laughs> That's quite good. Quite good. One evasion ignore, one accuracy. But they will always fire. And either they hit everything or they miss everything. And they have a damage variation. For four and a half tons. That's okay. That is actually okay, but they require the streak ammo, which I'm not quite happy with right now. So no regular SRM. I'm going to take the mining drill. We might get something done with it. And then an Ultra 2, a Beagle Probe. This is all kind of garbage. You know, I feel like I want to use a tracker for the the Ultra Auto Cannon Wacker, and we're good. Tracker for the Wacker? Let's do it. So, we get Centurion Fire Truck, Double Light Carrier, Double Shepherd, the Pirate Heavy Vehicle Flamer... I should have taken a look at that as well. It's not bad, that thing. 15 heat is quite substantial. Damage against overheating targets, 25% bonus. Uh, but it has a fall off to 50%, so we gotta get real close with it. And it has a bonus against uh, Battle Armor on Proto Max. One Evasion Ignore as well. Ah, 5 heat for 2 turns as well. It's sticky. That's quite good, actually. Alright. Okay, we got some single heats and cooling that we're gonna get rid of. Thunder LRM, by the way. Thunder LRM. Not bad. Not bad at all. It doesn't really deal a lot of damage, but it's great area denial. The AI is now kind of... Um, uh, kind of aware of these mines. And sometimes they do just careful maneuvering around them, which means they only generate like one evasion or sometimes none. This is really good to lock enemies down. And I think I want to play around with that a little bit. All right, we get some streak SRM ammo and half a ton of clan streak ammo. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Let's take a look at the Wacker. Maybe we can do something with it. I'm not excited. But we finished the mission, and that is what matters here. <laughs> I mean, the tracker sensor and the um, the MRM upgrade, that, that might be something that will give us more value so that we can kill a bit faster and get more, get more like, traction on the road, you know what I mean? And we should probably stop playing against the pirates, because these guys... They, they are not good loot bags. We need to play against the planetary government or another opposing faction, that would be great. Or maybe the occasional... The occasional fight against Marek? So we can get some goodies? I don't know. Alright, so... Our Ballistic Wacker was not touched at all. We'll check this out now. The rockets. A four and a half ton. Don't think we can bring the MRM and a ton of ammo easily, right? This is a four ton? Yeah. And we put it on the arm, obviously. We have a half ton situation. Okay. I think we can do it, though, by just dropping a little bit of our armor. 
This guy is running Chameleon LPS and is rarely getting attacked because of its stealthy nature, so... I do believe that's it. Give it 65 here. Yeah. Yeah, I think we made it better. And since we will be firing at range a lot of time... Let me think. Is the streak launcher better than a, like a large laser? I would say yeah. We have an energy hardpoint open and we are overcooling the mech currently. So I was thinking about using my energy hardpoint, which is very efficient damage in terms of weight cost. Oh, we got a snub. We got a snub. I do like the ballistics though. The double ballistics are fine here. It's good base damage. Yeah, I think what we need is smaller weapons in general. Um, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We give it the tracker sensor. More accuracy at extreme and long range. At short range, we have a bit of a problem. So this guy wants to stay away a little bit more. Uh, 270. This is suboptimal. These guys are conflicting a bit in terms of their, their optimal range bracket. So the Ultra Auto Cannons want to stay away further, and the Streak Missile wants to be a little bit closer, but we'll see how this is going to interact. Alright, so five days, get it done. Thank you. Then there's the question, are we doing anything with the Clint, uh, sorry, with the Chameleon? Yay or nay? We have two Mortars, or Grenade Launchers, which we can put in the center here. This could be like a support mech. We need to fill it up with a lot of energy weapons, though, and we can currently only run... We can run nothing because we don't even have a fusion core. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We are that broke. Fair. Okay. So, looking at the time right now, I don't think I can squeeze in another mission unless it's something like a, a, a duel. And I don't think we have a duel right now. So, sorry for a bit of a shorter episode today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it anyways. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.